okay guys how are you this is your friend alex and today i have a new video for you and this video is going to be about moving your whatsapp data from a redmi note 11 to the iphone 14 pro on my previous video i did the opposite i moved from the iphone to the android today i'm going to move from the android to the iphone okay let me show you what i have here on my whatsapp i have all this information and the chat that has more data is this one you can see that I have pictures, I have videos, contacts. I have also PDF files. Let's see this, you know, this is just like a demo. But this is all the files that you can transfer using WhatsApp, Excel, Microsoft World, zip files, PowerPoint. Now I have the stickers and I have emojis also, all that kind of stuff. So the goal is to move all this stuff from the Android to the iPhone. Only when you see all of this here on the iPhone, the transfer will be successful. So how can we start this transfer? We're going to start downloading an app called Move to iOS. Move to iOS. We're going to install it. And on the iPhone, in order to do this transfer, we need to factory reset the iPhone. If you already have data, please do a backup on iCloud and on the computer. All right. So how can we factory restore this iPhone? I'm going to click on settings and I'm going to go to general, scroll down and transfer or reset iPhone. And here you're going to click erase all contents and settings. Erase this iPhone, continue. It says uploading data to iCloud, time remaining one minute. And in the meantime, we're going to open the application Move to iOS. I'm going to agree. And this is the app, Move to iOS. Since we already did an iCloud backup, and I also have a backup on the laptop, I'm just going to skip backup. Every time you want to reset your iPhone, they're going to ask you for your Apple ID password. Are you sure you want to erase all media contents and settings? This cannot be undone. I'm going to say erase data and keep the eSIM, okay? And now the iPhone is factory restoring, but they're going to keep the eSIM. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to configure the move to iOS app. I'm going to click continue, agree, don't send, continue. And I'm going to put while using the app, I'm going to have to turn on location settings. Okay. This. Okay. Continue. It says find your code. If you don't see the code on your iOS device, make sure you are on the iOS setup assistant and have select move data from Android. So let's find this move data from Android. We're going to set up the iPhone really quick. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Okay. Data and privacy continue. Face ID set up later. Passcode options don't use. Don't use passcode. And here's the screen that we need guys, apps and data. Here we're going to select move data from Android. Move from Android. If you have an Android phone or tablet, you can transfer your photos, messages, and more to this iPhone. I'm going to click continue. And this is the code that we need here, guys. 628191. Let's see what happened. You can see here, guys, on transfer data that we have the option of WhatsApp. This is beautiful. Some people don't see this WhatsApp. Okay. So click on WhatsApp. And it says move chats to iOS. I'm going to click start. Almost done. Next. And I have my WhatsApp ready. I'm going to also select messages. I'm going to select contacts, calendars, everything that I can select, guys. I'm going to do it. So now I'm ready to click continue. And now you can see that it's saying move to iOS, transferring from. And this is the name of the Redmi Note 11. Look at this guy, transfer complete. I'm going to click done. And it says transfer complete. Your data has been transferred to this iPhone. Wow. Okay. So what happened if I click continue? Okay. I need to log into my Apple ID. I'm going to click accept. And this is the code. 262155. Okay. Agree. Okay, so he says, make this your new iPhone, continue. Okay, hey Siri, set up later. Emergency, continue. Welcome to iPhone. It says, add your Android device apps from the App Store. I'm going to click add apps. And that's going to make some of the apps being downloaded, you know. Now, look at this, guys. We have WhatsApp. So we're going to click here. Require password, require after 15 minutes. I'm going to click and hold. Download require. Viewing App Store. 
yeah so i'm gonna click on the cloud to download it okay it looks like he's doing it so whatsapp is finished guys we're gonna open it agree and continue and we have to yes we have to confirm the same number we use on the android whatsapp 7534663 done retrieving credentials make sure this is the number guys and now requesting an sms i'm gonna get the sms here because my sim card is here finally we got it guys here it is 240 137 your credentials will be secure, safe to your iCloud, key change if enabled. And look at this, guys. Beautiful. Move chats from Android. I'm going to click start. Permission needed. Start. Allow access to all photos. Now it's moving all the chats. Chat history moved to iPhone. Next. My name. Access to contacts. OK. And look at this, guys. I have all my chats from the Android to the iPhone. This one is the one that um, has more stuff. And you can see that I have all the stuff that I have on the Android. Now I have it on my iPhone. The PDF, Excel, everything, guys. Emojis, stickers, everything move. Audio, video, everything, guys. That pretty much concludes the tutorial on how to move all your WhatsApp chat data from Android to iPhone. In this case, I'm using a Redmi Note 11 by Xiaomi, and this is an iPhone 14 Pro. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and that way you can help me uploading more videos for you. Have a great day. Bye.